Hey there, what is up? I am here to save your bacon today because guess what I did? I just deleted the footer from my entire website. And yes, I am talking about the live site, not a staging site. And just in case you delete any element off of your WordPress site and you need to restore it quickly, I'm gonna walk you through how to do that without spending hours and hours trying to figure it out. So are you ready to get started? I am. Okay, so now I'm gonna hop in here and I'm sharing my screen with you to show you a website that I've built to be a playground so that I can demo things for you. This is just a standard web page with uh, a menu and a footer that you can see here. I'm gonna start showing you the footer. One thing for you to know, but also we're gonna go through elements like pages, posts, and uh, that sort of thing. So that if you, you can know that if you delete any item off of your website, there is a way to retrieve it. And I'm gonna show you how. So um, one of the things you should know is that we use Beaver Builder, the theme, Beaver Builder, the builder, and Beaver Builder, the themer, to make the themer makes our menus and footers on our websites just so that we can have a lot of fun things happening without using CSS. Now, that is not a prerequisite for the tool that we're gonna use today. You just need to be on WordPress to be able to retrieve the thing that you've deleted. I'm talking to you about Beaver Builder because you're gonna be noticing me hopping into places that say Beaver Builder, but just note, even though this dashboard says Beaver Builder here and we're gonna hop into Themer first, we're also gonna look at pages, which you should see in your WordPress dashboard and posts, which you should see in your WordPress dashboard and a couple of other places as well where we can find the same tool that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna hop first into Themer layouts and head over to my footer. You can see I am using template eight here on the entire site. Um, so that is the footer that you see displayed here at the bottom. And uh, so I don't know what happened. Maybe I lost my mind for a moment or maybe I was trying to hit quick edit or something or view, uh, but I accidentally hit this trash button. And then I was working around in some other things and I hit refresh and then looked and holy crap, everything got wonky. My uh, heart stopped for a minute. And, uh, but before I went into cardiac arrest and maybe before you do too, you can take a deep breath and know that everything's gonna be all right <laughs> and uh, come back into your WordPress dashboard into the element that you were working in. So if you're in a page, go back to pages. If you're in a post, go back to post. I'm going back to themers and there's this little link right here that says trash. You didn't see it before because you didn't have any trash. So now that we do have trash, I'm gonna come here and be very, very careful because you see this delete permanently button and we want to absolutely avoid that we want to make sure that we're hovering over restore and then click now i'm going to refresh this but guess what still looks wonky so i've got to go back to themer layouts and make sure that this layout is active now so i was on template eight and i just need to republish it and now it should show up on my entire site. So just because you pull something out of the trash does not necessarily activate it again. You have to republish the thing that you deleted before. And guess what? Here's my footer. Everything saved. That happened in just a few seconds. I was able to retrieve it, but boy, did my heart have trouble at first. Um, okay, so I want to hop in here and show you the same thing can happen with pages and I want to show you on your front page because there's a couple of other steps that you need to include in here as well. So you accidentally hit trash. That's your front page. Yikes. So your home page now looks a little bit like this. Whoops. And I'm just hitting the logo here just so I can make sure. Yep. I absolutely am on the home page. Holy crap. Let's get back into the WordPress dashboard. All pages. And now you can see this little link for trash here. So I'm gonna come in and again, be very careful as I'm scrolling over these possibilities. I am going to hit restore and then come back to all pages. Now, the first thing to do is hop in here and change this from draft to publish. But guess what? We're still not whole yet because this is our home page. And what we need to do is hop into appearance and customize 
and go to site identity and sorry the settings here home page settings we're going to change this back to a static page because when we deleted that home page it automatically reverted to showing our latest post which is nothing so now we're going to choose that marketing for your business page again i'm going to hit publish and refresh ta-da and we're back which is amazing um okay then same thing with posts you might hit trash whoops where did it go just in the trash we're going to restore it and back again it's not fully restored until we hit publish again it takes everything back to a draft so you can do that with posts pages media forms comments and menus headers and footers um if something happens and you accidentally hit that um permanently delete button let me just show you quickly what that looks like so you hit trash on this draft of a page and then you accidentally hit delete permanently it does not ask you if that's okay. So you get no warning. If you accidentally hit that button, it is gone and it's gone forever. So you wanna be really careful with that. What do you do if that happens? This is the absolute reason that before you make any changes on your website, you should back up what's on your website right now, especially if you're playing around in a live site. It's the reason we always suggest using a, um, a staging site uh, to make changes but we all break that rule sometimes and if you end up in this situation and you've really permanently deleted something that you need what you need to do is go to your website host and ask for them to restore a previous backup hopefully you made that backup right before you started making changes on your website especially if you're working in the live site if you do that will save your bacon time and time again i know because i've done it Okay, well, that's it for today. And hopefully that helps. You've deleted something. There's always a trash to retrieve it from. If you permanently delete it, you can restore as long as you have a backup. That's it for today. Talk to you later.